<coughs> so today I'm going to tell you one use case where we need to read all the CSV files from the directory or a folder and each CSV file should be dumped into a table on a database. So as I shown on my screen, so we are going to read all the CSV files from a directory and each, each CSV file will be dumped into a table. I mean on the corresponding table on the database. Currently I'm using MySQL and my local. So uh, let me show you the transformation how it looks like and I will prepare for J1. So so currently I I have to test CSV files like patients and staff. So so this transformation is for staff where this transformation look like you see here it look like, like this. So Will include all the get file names, filter components, CSV, table output. So I will show you one by one by disintegrating the CSV into two parts. So let me prepare you one. Uh, let me close this one now and delete this. files name will be a component where it reads all the files from a directory so right now i mean giving the directory where it i i'm having oh, let me delete this i'll show you that how we will add this one as well so so this get file name component will read all the files from a directory so we need to give the directory here uh directory is this one open yep, it's already there that's why it's not happening so delete this browse So while it's all this regular expression where it give you can give dot star. So dot star will is in the sense like you know you can read all the files from the directory. If you preview the rows, you can see all the directories from here and it will give you you know there are some outputs that file component will give give as an output like file name, share file name and path type which is hidden, is readable, writable and last modified it like such metadata will be given as an output. So if you see here the file names, you can see all the files from the directory. Let me preview it once again. So in which we we have few columns we are interested in like uh, uh, you know the short file name and and the URI. URI will give all the full path file, I mean, the full path of the file and the file name, short file name will give you the pay, you know, the, the file of the file name of the particular file. And let me close this. So click OK and we can apply filters as well if you want. So currently I'm not interested in that. So click OK and I'll show you what the output it, it generates from that. So let me write into your log, run it. So if you run here, oh, I got an error. So because the right log should be given something to write it. So these are all the outputs that the get file component is giving. File names component is giving. Let me run it again. And I can 
चाहिए जावा नॉन पॉइंट एक्सेप्शन टेबल आउटपुट के सारे तो for this first one so it is reading patient.csv and the file name is patient.csv and the short file name is patient.csv path is this one and type exist and then readable writable all the metadata from that each file and that folder will be read from this get file names so this is file names so but if you are running for a table like if you are running for translation for patient table so you are interested in knowing the file from the patient from the direct from the directive like patient directory so if you are running the translation for staff you are interested in only the staff that csv from that directory so for that we are going to filter filter the output from this get file name so so now will produce all the metadata from get file names into the filter so but we are interested in only one particular file we are running for so if I, if I am running for staff and I need only staff staff file so for that if it is if you the third one it is reading staff.csv and the short file name is csv uh, only the particular csv file so we'll apply filter on that so open the filter and select the field with short file name click ok no oh, sorry short file name is, is not equal but let me apply starts with value and press ok building the staffs file So let me log this as well. So the output is only one file stop.csv. So likewise with the filter component. We are preventing pulling the all files from the directory. We are pulling only the file which has a basic value for the staff. So now let me confirm whether it is recording or not. Yeah, it is recording. So this is one part of this use case. So other part is so he, till here we are reading only the CSV we are interested in. So the second part would be dumping the CSV data into the table output so for that let me take csv input and the same csv will be dumped into our table with the table output component join them so observe here it is expecting one input give me that let me give that input the staff that csv so and it is still browse that file as well and get fields the fields are come fields are coming there and that is type of integer and string and you can preview as well and this is that's is how the data is looking like and and so the we are going to dump this same data into this table called staff and local db uh, let me create a connection to the database Local database is MySQL.
to look like this. Yeah. So uh, I you can browse the table name, but uh, I know the table, so that's why I have written directory. But still, you can browse here. And MySQL don't have any schema, that's why it has only the target table. If you are working for SQL server, you need to uh, select the schema as well. So specify, click on the specify fields for mapping the input stream to output stream. Get fill, get fields will give you the, all the input data, and enter field mapping will map the input stream to output stream. As the names are same from input to output, so those are already mapped with the intelligence of DBA. Click OK, and click OK. So our use case is to read the directory, take the CSV file, lump the data into a particular table. So the first one will give only the CSV we are interested in, and the second is will dump the CSV data in the table output. We selected staff here. So if you see here, if you see here, file name, so it is expecting a file. So remember this section, file name. And the delimiter enclosure for those will be defaulted. So there are some few cases where the delimiter could be something like tab, pipe. So based on your your use case type of file, you need to delimit the file. And see here file name how it is look like. So if I join these two, those the UI will be something different. So now it expects the data from previous step and the file name basically not the data it expects the file name from the previous step so if you see if you remember the log when I, when I I have the output log from this filter rows the URI field is having all you know the full path of that file so that URI will be taken here so So let me explain once again. Get file names will be read all the files from a from a particular you know uh, directory, and the filter component will filters all only the file we are interested in, and CSV component will read all the CSV data from that filter output, and the same CSV data will be dumped here. So on my local, we are running for the stack. So let me. So if you see here, I don't know nothing is here. Let me run this transformation. So if you see here in the log, so the table output is you know reading five records and writing five records out of it. And the get file components is reading is writing three files because the directory has three files, one, two, three and output will be only one file this is staff let me run see the staff data is dumped here likewise let us prepare for patients as so nothing is in so let me give that short name as patients. So it will enter the patients file and let me break this first. And list of star. Enter comma and for the rest double quote get fields ID and name ID and name same as staff and output will be patient. So the fields are input and the mapping for the output stream is 
of Jesus, yes, and members too. That's it. You are happy. So we prepared transformation process. Patients have been able to confirm on the patients. It has no data now. We prepared the transformation for patients. Let me run here. Uh, nothing here because the read and write sub zero something wrong here. P A T I E N T S. Let me confirm this patient. So the file name is something. Typo in the file name, so that's why it is P A T I E N T S. But the file name is P A T I N E T S. So that's why it is not given here. So likewise, we are reading the reading all the files from the PET table directly, and we are taking only the one CSV file and reading CSV and dumping the data into the table. So likewise, you can read multiple files and you can have multiple transformation for each CSV file and the data goes into your table. And uh, um, that's all. About how how we can read um, files from a directory and dump them into our table. Thank you.